a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend fave? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Yeah, man, Madel. What's going with you? Hey, man, you talking that talk. You know, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm working on that thing, man. You know, my patois getting better every episode. Man, we got a special guest in the house today, y'all. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? Y'all don't be knowing what I'm going to do because y'all don't know me like that. You can't pick me. You, look, man, I got people in places that y'all probably ain't never been in your life. Boy, y'all better ride with me and not collide with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Check it, man. Ro Tarantino is in the building. What's going on, brother? Man, what's popping with your boss talk? Say, man, you on Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Yes, sir. Say, man. Real boss talk. Bro, move like a boss. Big Woo! baby. Big baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Say, man, we got a lot to get into, man. Say, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You being from down home, man, down there in Mount Pleasant, man. Uh, just let's get the people a little spill, a little splash on, you know, just how you started out in the music. Because really, when we talk, we therapeutically want to you know, registered to somebody so they can get some help. Some kids, people, you know, everybody want to be a rapper, bro. Man, it's, it's I, a, I was rapping when rapping wasn't cool. So, you know, I know everybody want to be a rapper now. It's because it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't cool to be a rapper when I was rapping. It was like, all oh, them niggas rap. He rap? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Already? You know, it was. I was rapping since then, so, yeah. And how you know. old were you at that time? Man, I was about... I started, got on the stage with Pops, put me on the stage, a little rap. I had a battle rap at first. I was a, a rap battler. You know what so I'm saying? I used mm -hmm. to, you know. You I show up and spit that fire. I used to show up and spit fire. <laughs> we, had, we, had to, we, had to talk about, we had to talk about some of the nastiest things. This wasn't making no hit records or no hit singles. We had to go in from the gutter, from the heart, from what you got on, and really try to embarrass you. So, I, you know, I was doing that then. I was, about, I was about 12 or 13 when I started doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 I've been hearing about you, man. Like I said, I keep my ear to the streets. So I've been hearing about you, man. I'm very moved by what you moving on, what you moving with, the way you spitting lyrics. A lot of people ain't able to even get to that level. I'm going to be honest with you. You can tell you articulate very well. Absolutely. But you Appreciate say your dad um, put you on stage at that time. Was he in music as well? Yeah, he used to be a DJ. You know what I'm saying? He was DJ in a, he was DJing at a club back in the day. I, what was it, T90s Pops? I, get it right. yeah. I don't know. I just know he was musically inclined. So he he know one thing. He gonna put Big Tino on their ass when they was you know. What I'm saying? Excuse my friend. Yes, yeah, sir. He was gonna put me in the mix and put me in the water. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, he was musically inclined. And actually, I think his daddy was a booking agent, wasn't he? Yeah, he worked for. He used to bring blues singles to East Texas. Oh yeah. wow! So you have it in your blood. Yep. Yes, ma'am. That's cool. So that's 12. <coughs> so when was the first time you actually started taking it seriously? Serious? Because I know at 12, you probably wasn't taking it serious. Nah, you just doing something. Nah, I was just battle rapping in China, you know what I'm saying? Figure out what I wanted to do. And it actually, I started taking it serious when we uh, started forming a group called PVP. Shout PVP, out to all, shout, shout out. out to all my PVP members, Pleasantville players. You know what I'm talking about? That's what it stands for. Mount Pleasant, stand up, put your hands up. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so that's when we started kind of taking it serious. It was an adolescent series, but we we knew we wanted to do music. Like, we didn't have no platform or no. Matter of fact, shout out to D Money, because I used to record at his studio in, in, in the house out there by the high school. So, that's when we kind of started taking it serious. Like, it was an adolescent series, but we knew we was trying to do music. And how old were you then? I was like 15. 15, 14, so 12. 15. Okay, that's not that long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, when, I, when did the group, when did you go solo? Well, I've actually been in two groups. That group, it was like I said, it was more, because I'm still in that group. You know what I'm oh, saying? That's, okay. that's, that's, that's tatted on me. So, you know what I'm saying? Pleasantville Players is where we from. Because we was really more, honestly, we was like players, like meaning, you know what I'm saying? We was just, we were just young kids having, a, you know, doing our thing out here in the streets. I was going to school, actually. My cousin and them had graduated. They was a little older. So, and I was real short. I was a small one. So, I was just a little player. I had all the people rocking with me. Like, I just had a little swag. I, I used to play ball at the time. So, <laughs> It was all just kind of, it kind of revolved around each other. It was, and I was like, uh, I was 15, so I was about, uh, I think about in ninth grade, but I kept getting kicked out of school, so we ain't gonna go through all that. But I had a, I had a team of people around me. They really was doing it. They was money recorded. My brother Scram, when I met him, I met his mama first because I got kicked out of alternative school, and she mm -hmm. was the teacher. She was trying to help me because I ain't had no support system, no support system because Pops was in jail, and I think my mom was in jail at the time too. 
So, you know, it was just a lot going on. So who on, were man. you being raised by? My granny. Okay. And myself. You know okay. what I'm saying? The streets. Shout out to the streets. You know what I'm saying? I got in and got out. But, yeah, the streets gave me, you know what I'm saying, gave me a few pointers, slapped my hand, bumped my head. You know how I go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know how you cats <laughs> do it out in them streets. You know what I'm saying? Me, I was square, nigga. I'd have ended up at Pilgrim Pride someday. Yeah. Working like hell. I worked man. before. I Trying worked to figure it out with them damn gloves on, coal in there, all them chickens coming through. Yeah, I ain't doing that, I'm, though. Yeah, I was in there, nigga. Yeah, chickens everywhere, nigga. Everybody yeah, nigga, I went through there. My hands was froze, nigga. Yeah. But they let me get on that forklift, nigga, and I ain't never looked back, nigga. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Once I got on that forklift, baby, it was over. Mr. Yeah, forklift listen, man. boss time. Look here, man. <laughs> Left. Ain't went back. Forklift and I'm hey, out. Shout out to you, man. Salute. That's that's big. <laughs> but boy, man. I know, I know about that factory over there because a lot of people eat from old Bo Pilgrim. He, he yeah. died rich as hell down there. Man. Old Bo Pilgrim, rich boy, as he, hell. yeah, he he should have did more five people down there while he was using them up. Yeah, Facts. yeah. Shout out to y'all. That y'all hear me? Yeah. I'm on Boss shout, Talk One Hundred and One. We coming Pie, up, man. nigga. Yeah. We got a microphone now. Nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. talking about. Shout out to everybody that said Pilgrim Pie. Yeah, you know what man. What so so what's the uh, what what's up with I heard you had a song with Waka Flocka back in the day. Yeah, stop song. playing, man. Nah, I had a. It's still hey, dope. He was it's up guy. there. One of them niggas. Well, yeah, show sure wheels up there. Man, the look, man, man. I yeah. met the nigga. We was at the Palms Hotel mm -hmm. now in Vegas, man. I traveled, man. I mess around, man. Yeah, I see your wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everybody wild, be man. tripping on the wall, man. The wall just tells it all, nigga. We been. That's a lot of money being spent traveling and dealing with different parties and different different. Th even some of them in the store here. So you know, you just never know, man. What's gonna go down yeah, so you I gotta boost it yeah i see but you see all y'all pictures yours will be yeah. up there pretty soon bro you yeah. see the pictures we're we gonna do this whole store in pictures man yeah you so know you it. see the pictures over there behind my counter and up on the wall they're everywhere and we got more so yours will be one of them up here the whole store gonna be number of pictures of all our guests man so yeah, that's dope, we man. always flip and turn out like different than everybody else mm -hmm. man that's so, dope man you're creative though oh you know man we always I trying see to why do you call unique fashion man, that's, that's definitely very unique. unique yeah that's very unique man I, what's I, up with that hard living I, that you, I heard you should have pushed that one a little harder too. Yeah, they we, say that's the hardest one. We redid it. You know what I'm saying? We redid it, and we finna push it. We finna put the house on it. You know? Oh uh, yeah, saying? yeah. We redid it. We added some little saxophones and some old instruments. So, yeah, yeah. It sound totally different now. So yeah, yeah. We man. gonna push that. Everybody, everybody be tapping in with that because uh, you know, a lot of people say they got a story, but is it worth hearing? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, speak. that hard know? living, man. You know, like I said. You went through some things growing up. Yes, sir. You know, every, you just expressed the fact that your pops was locked up, your mom yeah. was locked up, yeah. you was at your grandma's house. Yeah. Hey, man, you black. For real. <laughs> Shout out to my granny, man. You know what I'm saying? Say you my black. Gran nigga. My granny was coming to my game and literally, I'll never forget it with kidney stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't even, couldn't even walk up the but stairs. But she was there. And she was there. Man, that's love. You know what I'm saying? Love. Shout out to uh, not only, you know, everybody, you know, the thing I look at more than anything, man, is 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 we have a tendency, we have a, a, a tendency to think about, um, you know, things that when we look at things, you know, okay, we we play the blame game a lot, but uh, but a lot of times we we don't blame it to the right sources. Facts. There's uh, deeper rooted issues in our our genealogy. Absolutely. So therefore the people who came up and you see them go through issues, whether it be your father, whether it be your mother, whether it be your uncle, your auntie, cousin, you know already the background that everybody had to come up through. So at the end of the day, you have to learn how to forgive in order to grow. Absolutely. You know, and that's the biggest thing I see when it, when I look at our people, man, is that that was no reparation for our people. None. So at the end of the day, we didn't ever have, get no counsel, no help for the stuff that we went through. All of our ancestors, those 400 years of, of going through hardship and being whooped and raped and stripped from their families. And now we wonder why we're going through hell now. Somebody better wake up and realize, yeah, man, we got to we gotta forgive and we got to try to put our people back together. And that's what this platform is about, bringing our people back together, man. So, you know, when we look out here and we see the person sitting in front of us, we're going to love them to death with some God. And we're going to turn around and bless them. And whenever they got a project, we're going to put that thing out. We're going to wear the T-shirt. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We gonna make the T-shirt. We mm -hmm. bought all the stuff to make the T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my wife. Wouldn't spend all my damn money <laughs> <Shout You know? laughs> buying stuff to come Shout in boxes wife, that yeah. I don't know what's in there. But we, you know, I'm trying to figure it out now with her. Yeah. So shout out to the official Miss Jamaica. Yeah. Shout out to the official <laughs> Miss Jamaica, man. 
But, but like but, you said, it's just all by design, though. See, I'm, I'm a little bit more seasoned, a little bit more established, mm-hmm, a little mm-hmm. bit more uh, enlightened, should I mm-hmm. say? So oh, your songs show it. So yeah, I don't never, I don't never pass blame or or what. Now that I'm older, I used to pass a little blame. Like yeah. man, my daddy wasn't there, my mama wasn't there, but yeah. they was just trying to, they was just trying to do the best same they man, could they to make provide ends for meet. us. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. My dad, I could tell you the same story. Self of mine, my daddy was drunk, fighting my mama every week. Hell, they needed to be locked up the way they were fighting <laughs> up through that damn. Yeah, every Friday and Saturday and Sunday, if that nigga. <laughs> Come, he gonna get the business, nigga. Them burn all the money up. Yeah, he down there and hauled pup wood all week. Took that little old three, four hundred dollars and messed it off. And my mom wasn't trying to hear it, and he could not whoop her, so it was yeah. going down. Yeah. He had to, he had to feel the rail. Oh yeah, yeah. When he come home, nigga, we rocked that whole little trailer. Out, yeah, man. everybody <laughs> that whole rock. You know what I'm saying? She shot at him one time, one day. Yeah. She barely missed that nigga that by that much. On yeah, I still got the, the trailer, nigga. I never let that go down in the country, nigga. Yeah, Niggas real. don't know. You can't buy that one right there. Yeah. You could never buy that spot because at the end of the day, that spot, value. man, that's the only place. That's the only. Memories. Only place my mom and dad ever lived together and nobody else ever lived there. No other woman. No, you know what I mean? Yeah. As far as with my father. So it's, right. it's sentimental, man. But I understand hard living. I understand Around me is around me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. You know yeah. what I'm saying. I get it. Yeah. My niggas ain't gonna get it. Right. You know. Yeah. They they'll say they get it because they hear a beat. Boom, yeah. Boom. boom. They yeah. don't get it. Yeah. You, yeah. You. You, yeah. you tap in. <laughs> nigga, man. Tap in with me then. You hear me? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the things you say. Let me know. You don't went check it out because I ain't even seen you that one. You oh yeah. Yeah. No. 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 I'm a hustler, man. Come on now. I ain't gonna set up no no. I, I, it's some things that, like I said, that hard living. That's the one, man. Though it go hard, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, man, there's a lot of. I'm sorry. No, go man. ahead, go ahead. I'm just listening. You know I'm going in. Go huh? ahead. Yeah, go I, ahead. I, I, you know, I, I just I'm I so real with what I become. The spirit it just reach across the table and grab him and say, "Come here." Yeah, it ain't me. It ain't <laughs> I'll, me. Hey, I'll think, I feel it. I feel it, and I can't. I can't even. I can't even shake it. Like I'm, I'm right here with you. Yeah, yeah, it's I a good feeling, man. The, 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 to see, you know, that God is blessing. See, used to you could get no recognition in the country for hip hop and all that. Really? Now you got you, you got Ro Tarantino, Smoothie, Smitty Hawkins. You got a bunch of them that I that I, and 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 what's that other boy named Seco P, mm-hmm. Walla P. All of them been coming to the to the spot. You know, I'm I'm highlighting the ones that I've been rocking with right. because you guys, man, y'all stick out to me. Appreciate you know that. what I'm saying? You know, I I know you uh you you know you you watching what's going on. So so what's the next move for the next project or, or the project you're running right now? Because I, yeah. I want I want to hear about how you trying to, you know, the summer for the hit nigga. The mask is off. Yeah, it's off. It's mask off, man. Mask off, man. Niggas I getting run, shots now. Dying mask. in a few days. Some of them living. Yeah, yeah let's yeah, tell they, it how yeah, it really going yeah, down. Ain't taking that shot. They got they they on their own with that. But yeah, yeah niggas dying and taking shots. Some niggas making it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The niggas who ain't taking them though, they chilling. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm the nigga who ain't taking them. Big Tino <laughs> ain't taking none of that. You ain't taking no them shots, but. Yeah, man, we got the uh, we got the single Big Baby that's going crazy right man, now. Man, I listen to that thing. That thing got that beat behind it too. Yeah, and then you nice. hit you riding that cadence too, boy. Ooh. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Oh, so G <laughs> tap it in for real, yeah. But man, I just want to put the city on the map, man. Let everybody know that you don't gotta be from a big city to do big things. You know what I'm saying? I'm from a little true. small Mount Pleasant, but I'm gonna put the city on the map, Big Baby. You yeah, man. How did you? How yeah. did it go down in Atlanta? It went great, man. It went. You great. niggas frequent in Atlanta, nigga. They didn't never even stop. Off of Corona, you got to the right place. Yeah. Them niggas down there, they wide open. Hey, I was wearing the mask three them months niggas, before yeah, Corona. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them <laughs> niggas is down there partying. Ain't no party stop, man. <laughs> they real. did the All Star down there. Hell, Chucky, Chucky Trill got killed down there doing All Star, yeah. man. I, I hated that. that. And, I, and, and Trilly Polk and them drove up here that next day yeah, and did mm-hmm. interviews. The Houston Cats came up. Shout out to Trilly Polk. Shout out to B-Banks, B-Banks. man. I hope you guys doing good down there, man. We miss you. We love you. We about to pull up on you, nigga. So don't even trip. We coming. Yeah, but no, nah, man. We just, you know... We just we just know in Atlanta, man, they, they live a little bit different. You know what yeah, I'm saying? The video's different. still frequent. Them niggas did a uh, what did they do with Gucci and Jeezy? They popped that all off. It was packed at the club the right after that. Yeah, the niggas is crazy. That, that, was good. Yeah. that was good for the culture. At first I was like, nah, but that was good for the yeah. culture. Like No, no, that was great battle. for the culture. I, I loved it for the culture. Um, shout out to them boys. I met Gucci a few times, man, and uh I never met Jeezy, 
But mm -hmm. I, I definitely didn't rock with Gucci on a, on a few occasions, man. Right. A stand-up guy, real stomp-down guy. I thought we were going to have to scrap with him one time. But, mm -hmm. hell, he straightened up. That's the old good, new Gucci. Shout-out to the new Gucci. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Big yeah. Gucci, man. Shout yeah, out to the new Gucci, man, that man. nigga boss, man. He, if it yeah. wasn't for him, Atlanta, I don't feel like they would never be in the situation they in. He put, so much, he put so much of himself into that whole scenario. Really, the nigga like Jesus down there. The nigga gave his life for y'all niggas in Atlanta. Sure so yep. did, man. <laughs> Like that's some real. That's oh, some I'll real be going talk. in, man. Better listen, y'all better listen, man, because Gucci, man, he 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 put some fire up on the jet and took it from Atlanta yeah. to the top. Well, like, you know, Iron Sharp is Iron. Yes, yeah, a lot so, of artists. That's that's that's. When he said all my children, yeah, on that yeah, song, yeah, I remember. Yeah, he, he he put a lot of people in. Yeah, position. nigga, in That's my all trap Texas, house, Texas, Texas need a Gucci playing. man. Texas need a Gucci. I think I'm gonna be the Texas Gucci man. Now you got ain't nothing to do it, but to do it. You know what, what I'm saying? saying? You, gotta yeah. people, yeah. Yeah. you got to help a lot of people though. That's what I like about him. You know, he helped a lot of those guys, man. He did it with. He would go to the hood when other niggas had gave up on the hood. Absolutely. So that's what I respect in Gucci, man. I never forget the way that he, you know, after he faced that murder charge, he came back. And he still put his heart into his music and he still put out albums and he still ran around. And even though he was going through his whatever, y'all can call it bipolar, crazy, whatever, the niggas still were helping people. So yeah. how crazy, they always call the ones crazy mm -hmm. that really got the most sense, like Kanye as well. Y'all know, y'all like, man, Kanye, yeah, nigga, but Kanye got plenty of sense too, nigga. We black, nigga. If a nigga make it out, nigga, ain't no sense in hating on each other. Let's love each other through it, man. Man, them facts, man. Them big facts, <laughs> man. They always, really, they just got so much sense that they want them to, they want them to be quiet and try to give them something to they shut free. them up. They free. You know what I'm saying? They when you're free, free, free they, they thinking, get mad man. about that, man. Absolutely. So man, thank you, man. I, I I tell you, man, you you just a breath of fresh air, man, to see a brother of your your likeness come from down in the in the country, man. Yeah. With that. I you know, I got I got another thing I want to talk to you about, but I'm gonna let my wife ask you a few questions because she gonna have something different than I'm ever gonna think of. Yeah, most definitely. Most no, definitely. I wanted to say, um, if you could look back at a, yourself at twelve, because you've been in this business for a while and you know all the ups and downs and the things you've learned. How could you advise a 12-year-old who wanted to be you right now? How can you advise them to be better, quicker? Because a lot of times, like, you know, people always say, if I knew then what I know now, I would have gotten a lot further. Right. So how could you advise him? I could advise him by telling him to read. Read, okay. read, read. Read, read, read some more. I agree with that, too. You know, I'm staying in school. Mm-hmm. Understand what God is. Learn about God. Obey your parents, even though you don't want to. Listen to them, because most of them gonna be gonna be setting you up for the next level. Because it's like this: what I learned. If you don't be ready for life when you get to a certain certain age, your parents failed you. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, now, not blaming nobody, but that's what it is. So, so we should listen to our parents, basically, yeah. instead of thinking we know it all. Because everybody think they know it all between 12 to 17, 12 to 18. Mm -hmm. You know, until you get 19 and then you don't get the same treatment that you was getting when you was 12. Mm -hmm. And it get hard and you have to become a man for real. So, all I could advise them was learn, research, talk less, and listen more. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Talk less and listen more. And just be respectful, man. Respect will take you a long way. Mm. Like, you'll have somebody that'll come get you and take you under their wing <coughs> just by seeing you how, re how respectful you are. Right, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So, and stay teachable. That's one thing my old man always taught me. No matter what you know, no matter how much you think you know, just stay teachable. Yes. You know that's what I'm saying? so true because people don't like hard headed people, people who right. think that they know it all. Right. And that's what right. a lot of these young people think they know it all. Facts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Facts. They think yeah, they, they know it all. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. don't know. A wise man knows that he knows nothing at all. Well, exactly. the Bible says if any man think himself to be wise, let him become a fool. fool. Let mm -hmm. him be wise. Yes. You got to become a fool in order to be wise. That means you have to forget about all the foolishness that you've been dealing with and start all over again. Man. He said, if you can't come to me like a little child, little child. You don't don't bid them not to come to me. You know, old yeah. dirty rag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to change, man. Yeah. You know, a lot of times people not willing to let go. Absolutely. And let God. You know, so at the end of the day, I think. You know, our our path is pretty much already written. Yes. But at the end of the day, you know, we just got to have faith and walk toward it. You know, um, you got to keep doing your music consistently. Um, if I could add anything, it'd be um, to make sure to get you one of these little things so that them people right there would have it. Mm -hmm. So you could always have your content and Absolutely. it could be, you know, pretty much 
where where basically everything is being capitalized and captured, right. uh, and you do a documentary at the end so that people can see the movement because God can take you from strength to strength. You wish you had some of that information. I always do your BTS. You're, right. the scene. You're right. You're absolutely right. That's what my uh, new management was just saying in yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Atlanta. We actually had she actually had uh, a little. It's dead over there. Oh yeah, so, yeah. So we, yeah, so we, we, we got to We got to definitely. Almost yeah, yeah. like a Ronin. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta have that we thing rolling. That camera, you know what I'm saying? That camera that we trying to get, it, that we gonna get. It's it's a, it's, a, it's not a cheap yeah, camera. Man, I, I get the cheap one. I ain't gonna lie. That one right there is the best one. These are this expensive. One? This one right no, here. No, that one. Oh, that <laughs> little bitty one on me. Yeah. That's the one right How there. Much is that right there? About three four hundred dollars. Okay, we gotta look that. Stop playing. That's what we was talking about getting. We was like, nah. see, you gotta, you gotta. I've been doing this a long time, and I seen that thing whoop these boys before too. Absolutely. It's just about how you use it and how Absolutely. you conduct your business. You know, that one when it first came out, it was of course eight a thousand dollars. Right. But it's been a long time now, and it's used four K footage, so oh, that's you don't dope. have to. You don't have to go out there and just stretch yourself out there like that. And what's you the know? name of it? Oh, uh, that's that. That's that G seven. G7. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's the G7. Lumix. Lumix. Lumix, Lumix G7. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah, Appreciate that's the one. Support. And then I'll tell you what, what lens to get as well. Absolutely. And it, it, that whole kit around Because the lens is what matters, too. The, huh? lens, the yeah. lens is what matters yeah. a lot. Yeah. 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 And yeah, that's, is that, so that is just for video recording? Uh, no, you can do pictures, too. Pictures too. But what Take is some it? nice what is it? What is it more permanent for videos? Both. That's okay. It's about using it. It's about learning it. It's about spending time with it like you do with... I don't know. Uh, your phone. Your phone, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rolling a blunt, hell, you can yeah. roll it with one hand. Just, You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm though, saying? Right. Like, like if you want something, then you'll dive into it and understand it. That's right. You know what I mean? That's so great. that's the whole thing. Research, game. research, research. research. And, and, and do it just like you do your music. You know, stay into it until you learn it to where you know every single thing about it, to where your aperture, your ISO, mm -hmm. your depth of field, all that stuff is going to be popping. You know what I'm saying? I've taken young boys to... All over the country, having recordings done, you know, for me and teaching them, and then now some of them work for different Lamborghini, or some of them work for high-profile places. Because right. I took them and took them to Beverly Hills, and they would getting out of line, eighteen, seventeen year old. But but you spend time with a man, and you give, and God will bless you. Absolutely, you know, <laughs> he'll bless in you in abundance. Absolutely. Yeah, so that you got to give. I started doing that years ago. I could go story for story with you on that kind of yeah. stuff. Cause that's what I that's what we're supposed to do. Right. We we put here to help others and show that, them the way. That's and it. then we pass on. That's it. God that's bless what it you. Is. God bless you to be a blessing. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Feel like that. So so let's get deeper into to your path. Uh there was a few things. I was gonna call I know you do you know Trill Talk, no Peel Talk? Nah, I heard of him. I don't yeah, know him personally. I'm about to call this boy up because he didn't put you on the list. I wanted to ask him about mm. that online. Yeah. And you had a few things to say. I looked at your comments. Mm. Ah, yeah, just, nigga. just being 100, though. Yeah. You can, if you mention anything in East Texas and you don't mention Rotan Well, Tino, we finna get to it. You don't, I want to know. It's gotta be biased somewhere. I want to know what happened. Let's yeah. just find out. Yeah. yeah, I'm hell on wheels. You didn't yeah. know that? I like that. We need we need them kind of wheels running around yeah, us. Yeah, because that way we get down to the bottom of it. Yeah, to the meat. Hello? Yo, what up with it? What up with it, Trill Talk? Shit, chill at the crib. What's good? Man, we got you online, man. You sitting here, you on, you on, hey, you are in the midst of a Boss Talk one on one interview. Uh, I'm sitting here with that boy, Ro Tarantino, and uh, he come up to I do the interview the with me. Well, good with it. Big Tino done checked in. You know yeah. what's going on. Yeah, man. So, Tino, hey, I had, I asked him about the list. You, you, you come out with a few lists, just like the boy I asked, uh, I asked Sean uh, Cotton yesterday how he felt about being number one on the gatekeeper list with a uh, mogul media, and he answered me yeah. real good. So I got this young man in here, and now it's because you niggas making these lists, see? I ain't made no list yet, nigga, but when I do, y'all in trouble, man. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you list making niggas, man. I, 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 I said something about that. I hey, said, hey, I said wait, wait a minute. What, you say, what did you say? Because you said, I read it. Let me see. Nah, I, I said I made a song about that when the niggas running around here making these little lists and shit. Yeah. Most of these niggas, they want to see their homeboys win. Okay, well, you know? well, well, let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, 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 so... Trill Talk, uh, so yeah. what goes into making a list and how does a cat like Ro get missed in that list if he feel like he, because I got checked about your list too, nigga. You got me in trouble with that other dude. What was his name? <laughs> Corey Dunn, the Dunn. He, nigga, y'all forgot me on the list. And I remember calling you and I was like, I don't know who this nigga is, but uh, nigga put that nigga on that damn list. <laughs> 
So what? How did? How did? How, did, how does the process go? And why? How does? How does? How does Tarantino, Road Tarantino, get missed? I'm looking at fan, like like the fan support, fan support, the, the numbers, the numbers, the the just the just the presence, the social media presence, the social media presence. You no, know, uh, the consistency. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. Like at the time, Ron hadn't put out nothing in a while. He had he just had been pushed. He just started pushing the single about probably about a couple months. Well, it's been about he pushed the single probably about six months now. Yeah, about yeah, six months. Now, when that like, list get made? Six months ago. No, nah, I got made in uh, September. So you oh, it was more. It was longer than six months. Ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, okay. so that's how. See, I see had hard now, now you still, see. Though. I had hard living still, and I had songs playing on all the radio stations. And I had major fan support. I got people that contacted me about the list. I ain't see the list. My fans hit me. How you on that on this list? Ah, uh, them. That, 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 I guess that's their partners or something. I don't know. I, I didn't pay no attention. Well, I made, see the list. So do you not think the Smoothie supposed to be on that list? Yeah, Smoothie supposed to be on that list. Okay. Man, Smoothie supposed to be beside each other. Okay. And who else? Be, who else was on there? G- give me the name on the list. Hey, a lot of them forgot. So nigga. who do you think that should not have been on the list? I can't remember who was on there. I want to know who's on the list. I know you got that damn list over there, Trilly. <laughs> hey, 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 Trill Talk. Oh, yeah, I got hold on. I'm gonna, hold who was on the damn right list? Now. Hold on. Let me go. Boy, I'm a hell of an interview, hey, boy. Right now. Pipe it up, yeah. Man. Let's see who on the list, cause we finna kick a nigga off and put Ro on that damn thing, man. <laughs> yeah, I got a hundred thousand views on uh, YouTube on Hard Living. We had number one. We got Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, oh, now come on now. We got Don Tolliver number two. Don Sauce Tolliver Walker, number three. Sauce Walker. Mo three number four. Mo three number four. Lil Jeremy number five. Yeah, okay. Had Yellow Bees in number six. Okay. Peso Peso number seven. Trap Boy Freddy number Ooh. eight. Number nine Tay. That's some stiff competition. Number 11, Toby. Number 12, Al D300. Number 13, Enchanted. Number 14, B King. 15, number 7, 16, That's a hell of a Bank, list, man. 17, what Baby Youngin. 18, K Breezy. 19, Rizzo Rizzo. 20, Lil CJ Casino. 21, uh, K Twan Fame. 22, Luce Ace. 23, Lil Running Mother F. 24, Trilly Pope. And 25, Punch In, bro. Woo! When did you do that list? Cause I, the one I was talking about, you did thirteen. It was thirteen. That's a whole yeah, other list right there. That yeah, must have been the whole Texas. This is the first list I did. This is top twenty five most promising. Oh, that's the top twenty. Oh, okay. okay. No, yeah, the yeah. other one was just strictly for East Texas. East Texas. Right. That other one for the East Texas. For East yeah. That's, that's the one, the one that they're talking about. about. That's the one we talking about. We because I know everybody on that list supposed to been on that. That list. thirteen. Yeah, yeah. yeah that um, damn 13, list he just gave was a bad boy. That was a hard list. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was a hard list. Right so there. you have the one with the thirteen on yeah, there. Yeah, but see, my whole thing be 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 if he wants me making the list, when nobody from these to be on. Oh, I get it. Yeah, he the only one making the list. See what I'm saying? If I, I, if I didn't do yeah, that, so, then when nobody be on there. That's right. Well, you know, but like, you can't leave out Big Tino though. When I've been working since before I, Quarter Gang, I was working. I was getting paid for shows from Napa Doja. They was shout out D Henry man for paying me my first thousand dollars to come do a show with uh without Waka Flock on the song. Mister Fuck, how you feeling? Came and got a band to do a show before it was even Quarter Gang. Then we came what, back. Yeah, with what Quarter month Gang. was that? This what? was this was a few years about four. This was four five years ago. Okay, so, so I already been getting paid. Done went up down. Now I'm back up again. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Grind. So what I mean the consistency. Now let's talk about the music though. My music, yeah. and I ain't gonna ever, I ain't gonna ever say this arrogantly. I'm gonna say this confidently and humbly. My, and humbly, my music is better than half them people that was on that Texas all around list musically, talent wise. I've heard but, them. But, I've but let, to let me say this right now, Tarantino. I, uh, ain't damn damn rapper gonna come in here and tell me his music suck. Of, of course. Now the damn numbers got to match up. Well, it, it, well, the, well, ma- well. the numbers have to match what you say. But let me say this too. Because the internet and the damn people tell you what it is. Nah, not, not true. Numbers, numbers, not true. What matters is a bag. A bag and cosigns matter. So if I don't got, I if I, if I, I don't I got cosigns and from. ain't got no bag, I'm just like a nigga that can't rap. Because talent don't matter no more, really. I get it. But, I've heard but, that a lot. But the thing I heard is, that a lot. how can facts. I calculate Ro, Ro, Ro's bag? I can't calculate your damn bag. Well, how, you can calculate my bag by how I can move. I can't move with no bag. No, so no, no, just, no. I'm just saying far as the way that they look at the music industry and they make these lists. They don't right. know how much money you making per show. They nah. looking at the way the impact is on the internet. internet. internet nah, way. I mean, that's what I was about yeah, to say. It, I mean it, the numbers. And the shows. It's the shows. And the shows. Like mm-hmm. I see a lot of people be having like they have. I'm just trying to figure it out. Songs, you're right. You're right. But they do a show and they don't got number fifty people at the show. Yep. Okay. So that's he facts. looking at how many people to turn up at the show. Okay. 
Uh, but, nah, but that's people who, man, you know, but, but that's people who buy them views, though. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Buy them, yeah, it's a bunch of niggas buy Everybody, 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 everybody in the industry buy views. Everybody in the industry is, the, the industry is ran off a machine. How can you calculate the real numbers from a machine? You can't. As you go on tour and you go around, it's turning the real numbers because everything is, nothing is on real time. But if you're going around, meaning with that bag behind you and that push, it's going to turn into real time because nobody can tell what's real until the fans actually either like you or you don't. That's how niggas flop. Don't that make or sense? you're going to a show. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're you going, like to, a said, show. You're going yeah. to a show. And you got, but you can't tell me people ain't buying both views, though. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I know plenty of people got... Yeah. Oh, you I put know, that out yesterday. I reposted it too. Yeah, that you yeah. you put yeah, that they, damn they got, views they got, they got, out. Some people got two point five million views and can't do a show nowhere. Can't facts. <laughs> That's facts. I'm I had niggas. I didn't had niggas in here. Uh, then like then I pulled I the cover over my damn eyes. Right I'm over, over here yeah. dumb as I hell. I saw it too. The facts. You can't I didn't realize that, nigga done bought all the damn numbers. <laughs> Well, no, I ain't lying. Am I lying? Hell no, you ain't lying because it's a business, man. The talent don't matter. That's why. That's how. That's that's what makes what you're saying so permanent. It's not about your yep. talent. It's about your bi- It's about it's about the business the and business. and the people who are around you. A lot of people just hype. Yeah. A lot of artists just yeah, exactly. all hype. They exactly. making get a hundred and fifty people to come out. That don't mean they better than the nigga who can't get ten people to come out. Lyrically, right talent, talent, yep, like. Right. I'm a businessman. I ain't just an artist. I've, I've been in the music a long time, but I just got into the business the last two or three years. So I understand it way different now. My music is just a bonus. Well, I just definitely, I, I hope. The music is just a and bonus. And that's the generation that we're in because back then, people were just trying to be artists. They weren't trying yes. to, I mean, I mean, to know all around. I mean, talent don't matter as the industry go, but when but it comes to me, though, talent matters. Oh, talent you, okay, matters. talent, that's how you come up with your list. Talent does matter. Yeah. Now, talent, talent, talent do fact in that, yeah. Because he have the, so the, the, the 13 list? Because my wife is asking for that damn 13 <laughs> people list. She want to hear it. Because they want to hear it. I'm telling you who I'm in the list. Hold on. Hold on, man. I'm going to pull out the 13 uh, East Texas list. You hear me? Uh, it's going to get got, spicy. Because uh, I know our listeners want to know. Right here. I want to know. Right I can't here. remember. We got. You said I went crazy on the list. Who say A? Who say A? You know him? See, you don't know him. He down there. Who? HB. Kino, 903, you got Aldi 300, you got on, SOS on site, you got Smoothie, you got Smitty, you got Kendall, KD, KD AK Flame, you got T Rated Dunn. Do you, you know these people? Big I know Bad two or three of them. You got Shoot for Geek, you got the Punch In Brothers, and you got. Punch In Brothers made that up. Punch In Brothers must be. Who the hell is the Punch In Brothers? They made both lists. Yeah, that's. that's, that's Joseph that's, and Smoothie? Yeah, Joseph and Smoothie. Joseph, oh, they bro- oh Joseph, 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 well. Joseph is the same one we invited yeah, yeah, yeah. to one of our parties. I know Joseph. That, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had a lot of different things that are. Don't, don't Joseph fuck with you, Pop? Yeah. Joseph will, yeah. Yeah, so we know Joseph. We know Smoothie. We know. Is, is, is they supposed know to be in the, in the list? Yeah, they supposed to be on the list, but it's a okay. lot of them people that just you start don't rapping. Know. They just start rapping. So I'm going to say this as far as. Because we ain't talking about them. I don't want nobody to feel no type of way. Shout out to everybody that made that list. But everybody on that list, no big. I don't went from. Swag Boy Ro, to Ro, to ROE, Mr. Real Over Everything, to Ro Tarantino. So my grind speak for itself. My grind of, of the years I've been grinding and making pretty legible music. I got a song called Relationship Goes with Sergeant B and Bo King that's hotter than some of them people music on there because I ain't never heard when of them. When did you do that song? I did the song two, three years ago. See, what, about but, that's two years what, ago? but the thing is, if, he, if ago? this list is going off what's going on current, well, currently, it's going to be... When, when was the list during, made? I remember when let's, the list let's was made. Let's see when we can remember. The list was made um, 29 weeks ago. Twenty nine weeks, 29 weeks ago. 29 weeks. I ain't, I ain't good at, too good at the math. The weeks, yeah, the weeks, nigga, you. got us all the way through. <laughs> Anybody Hold tell on. us what I'm gonna go, I, I go into my DM and look at where yeah. I didn't accept uh, this nigga's. Uh, I'm just trying to know if Big Baby was out there because Big Baby on seven radio stations right now getting paid. No, no. Big okay. Baby wasn't out oh, okay, then, man. Okay, we wouldn't okay. have missed you. Okay, yeah, y'all, y'all wouldn't have missed. But that, but that hard living though. You got to hold on. Let's let's go back. I'm glad you said that. That's like seven months ago, I think. They're like, look, yeah, I forgot you good at that. Yeah, she good no, at that. I got a calculator. Oh, right. she good at that. So I, so I dropped Big Baby six months ago. So you just missed it. But, yeah. uh, but look. You just hold on, missed it. Hold on, hold on. It. Let, me, let me go back. Let me go back. And I like that. I like what you're saying. Let me, let me go back. Okay, I just dropped Big Baby. But I dropped a project called Broke Pockets, Rich Dreams. With hard living, mm-hmm. lit, and relationship goals. That's it. Lit was on three or four radio stations. Signed by the coalition DJs, signed by a few DJs out of here. 
Man, this stuff is built off relationships. If you don't have a relationship with some people, you won't make their list. Well, I think I think a lot of times you because it ain't based on talent. My, my list ain't built on no relationship. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm just saying. I'm saying hear, most of the time. Most the, of the time. The, 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 so you don't hear people talking about road. Like I hear them sometimes, but not a lot. Like oh, not as much as I heard them. What is like, all them people? Well, here, here, but here, I know, here, I know here, KD here, Flame. Here, when I was with Mama Scott, here, KD here, Flame here. used to call it until up. My music was fire. I don't know him like that, but he's fire too. I think he's from Marsh or somewhere. But yeah, my point is, nah, he's from he's from he's from he's from, uh, he from uh, uh, New Diana. Oh, okay. uh, New Diana. Okay, okay. Well, whoever he is, yeah. I heard his music. He's fire too. He's pressure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I like this man. You man, niggas is tired. Hey, you niggas want to be on there. I'm gonna make me a damn list. Hey, about the list to me. Show me. I'm gonna show. I, I'm gonna make my list. Uh, <laughs> just, 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 but see, you know what my list? I'm nigga, I'm gonna make list. me a list. <laughs> my list. I feel like my list. When I make a list, it should make nobody mad. It should make. Yeah, no, nah, nah. Like, okay, yes. you don't see me now. I'm gonna show you. I like it. I like, it. I like you, it. You see me now, so that yeah. should let you know. Yeah, you yeah. on boss talk one on one, nigga. Saying, I'm just you done made it, nigga. just to confirm and what you see. And that nigga had a song called just, Big Baby, nigga. just to confirm what yeah, you see. Yeah, nigga, though. we on. And we got an album just from the drop called Late Bloomer with ten bangers on there. Well, we gonna see bye, bye. what the response gonna be, and oh, yeah. and and that's the whole game. Hey, and 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 E, who who would I what I told I told him about about a hard list. What I yeah, he said hard living should still be out now. It is, but see, that's what I'm. I'm glad you said that. No, he said that. No, listen, I'm. I'm glad he said that because this bring me to the statement back to the other statement. If hard living been out for three years, two or three years, how can I not make that list? How if you, you fuck with it, nah, I ain't never stop pushing. You I just, pushing. it just, I ain't stop he pushing. Stopped pushing. Nah, I ain't stop pushing. It. I ain't stop pushing. I never stop pushing hard living. It's been going up on well, YouTube. Well, right how now. do you? How do you know if he pushing it? Yeah, how you know if I'm pushing? I just because all I've been seeing is Big Baby. I ain't been seeing hard, hard living. living. I ain't been seeing the post. He redone yeah, it. He said he just remade. I had no stand. I had shot a video and everything too. Dropped it on World Star Hip Hop and everything. Not the YouTube he yeah, sequels, I told you but you got a hundred thousand views on. Yeah, yeah. So I, that's I know, I, that, that's all I'm saying. How can I miss any list if I was doing this before the list was created? That's all I'm saying. But don't, don't you know the things fizzle out, bro? Nah. Can't. Well, you, a hit don't fizzle out. Oh, never. And, and, and never It's so like time music So you think music. that if Okay let It's me, like let's, right let's now You can play Y'all gonna make me Lose my mind no, It's cold so it's But like, it ain't gonna make That list though T.I. was a hard rapper But T.I. ain't T.I. ain't been doing Nothing right now Cause they have them laws on him He up there a lot of time Them laws on him But if Oh so this a new wave list Yeah Okay Yeah it's like It's like damn Make sure y'all say Make sure you be specific About it then Yeah Huh you said what? I said, I know you've been rapping for about 10 or 20 years down there. Rap, how I rap for about 10 to 20? <laughs> no, you've been rapping I'm, I'm a long time. Nah, no, I've been, rap, I've been, I've been rapping for about, time, for about time, 8 right to 10 years. It's, it's right. in serious, about 5 or 6. Like, like with quarter game, that don't count. And the reason why it don't count, because I was in a group. You didn't get to hear me solo. You feel right, me? Yeah. Pull up on you right now. Them songs are still finna get reintroduced to the world. Nigga jabbed it, didn't Dude, like, yeah. I mean, so you can't never take away from certain things and say we gonna create something new and leave out what's not just old, but still in the mix, still grinding, still putting pressure on everything, still on the radio stations. Why the radio stations ain't say they old? Why yeah. the radio stations ain't playing? I'm still playing hard living. I like. Why I like, the radio stations still playing? Uh, that's my little baby. We flyer than y'all. We stepped out in the mall. We shoot and we ball. That's my little baby. That's my little baby. Man. Man, talent don't matter no more. Man, I, I tell you, man, uh, Trill Talk, when you do, uh, show me how to do a list, nigga. I want to know how to do a list, nigga. I don't want to mess it up, but you I show you. got a list coming Friday. Oh, uh, you got one coming Friday? Friday? What is it about? What's the, what's the, t what's the title of that yeah. list? Well, you and Mocha Media are some bad niggas with these lists. Hold on, lists. let him let, I want to hear the title. On social media platform. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to be on that list, nigga. I'm supposed to be on the top of that list. I got the be best looking podcast. I ain't going to make it because I don't got no social media press. Nigga, I'm going to get media on here and talk crazy. Nah, about it's like, like bloggers and YouTube pages. You know, uh, it ain't no rapper. Yeah, this, yeah, this, uh, this, uh, this one where I'm going to be on the top of yeah, it. Bro. You, you, don't you put me on. You got more cameras than any nigga in the world, nigga. Hey, more, more pictures with no, 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 no. But I world. just came I, I, in. Here. I might not make. I ain't gonna be mad at the trill if I don't yeah. make the list. I'm gonna still rock with you, nigga. I ain't gonna be mad. I'm gonna work harder, nigga. Cause yes. I'm gonna. Hey, my numbers is moving up, and I'm gonna be like, you know what? I didn't yeah, make it this time. It. But then I'm gonna call you. I probably send you, you and your lady out to eat or something. Are you trying to bribe him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy, you I'm coming to East Texas. We going to JB's Pittsburgh. I link over there and he was praying, nigga. I'm gonna hey, feed you and your old lady. Come get me, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> Y'all are sick. <laughs> Don't forget nah, about me, man. Tito, man. Yeah. man. I just I just love the fact that you that you guys, man, what it, what's going on in East Texas is because of guys like you. Yeah. Y'all are the people that I see that make it worthwhile, man. East Texas never got the shine that it's getting right now, man, because Absolutely. of you guys putting that work in. You got a blogger down there now, somebody who putting out information every single day. I've watched this guy work, and this guy's putting out stuff every single day trying to make sure people notice what's going on with East Texas. So, hey, Trill, uh, Trill Talk, no pill talk, man. When I do get you back up here, we got to try to bless you, man. I always bless everybody, man. Right. Why is XO calling me right now? What is up with this, man? <laughs> they watching your show, man. They see what the yeah, fuck going man. on, man. So everybody want to call in now. XO, you know XO, I don't know if Hold XO on, I'm going to let her in. XO hot, too. XO Hold on. Been on a lot of them Hold on. Hey, XO, uh, are we, uh, we, you called in the middle of boss talk, XO. XO? Okay. Yeah, you called in the middle. How you doing? We got you on here with Ro Tarantino. Say what's up to Ro. God damn, Ro. <laughs> That's how long I've been grounding to where XO, XO should have been on any list that XO go harder than some of them niggas. Some yeah. of them men. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm... I, 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 I got, hey, hey, I got Trill Talk, I no Pill real, Talk on yeah. here who came out with a list for East Texas, man. And y'all two wasn't on it. And uh, uh, Ro was upset. And I called no, I Trill Talk because I'm friends with I Trill just Talk. To, I wasn't upset. He wasn't upset. Was, he just I'm passionate, passionate Look, about I'm it. I'm passionate about my music, and, and, not social media, not because I'm friends with somebody, not because I put a bag in them. And yeah, I like this I'm show. passionate about stuff. my music. So, oh, hold up. Let me make some money. I do I'm music. That nigga got a shirt on. I do music. And guess what? Shout out to Patchwork. Studio just spent ten bands on dropping my album. I do music. Oh man! I don't do friendships. I don't do partnerships. I don't do loans. I don't get no. I don't, I don't be in nobody's face cause, so they can put me on their list. I do music. I'm an artist. Well, this is good stuff here. I never would have seen this coming, man. This is very energetic. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I came up here thinking I was gonna do a little show like I do with nah, other nah, people. Nah, nah, nah. This nigga done got my nigga. The nigga took his shirt off almost. He on point. I don't believe nothing. I'm not fooling you know with you because you know that's his said? dad. It's just your dad or your uncle. Nah, that's my pops right there. Oh yeah, you that's niggas running game on me, nah, man. You nah, niggas got you nah. niggas slick, man. Y'all know nah. recognize it if you keep running on us. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. That, that's the key. We got enough to keep the sheet off us. Right. So Already. when somebody talking to us, what? What? what, what, what is like? Now, see, you can't hear it. You don't look there. It said popped what? Pop Johnson. Pop Johnson. What's that? Pop Johnson, baby. What's that, X? But it's an East Texas uh, family <laughs> union around this whole man. <laughs> East Texas drill fish. You hear me? Yeah, no, nah, hey man, yeah, Trill Talk, man. man. You gotta keep you gotta keep bringing them lists out, man, because I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna be calling you a lot. This was fun to me. <laughs> Nigga, this was a good thank you so much for answering. I will be calling you. You come out one of them damn this lists. Was a I'm gonna go off on you, nigga, if you don't put me up. I wanna be number one on the list, nigga. I don't give a damn about you and D Mogul. You can put yourself in number one and put me in number two. If you don't do that, then I know it's rigged. Yo, you yo. should be number one on your own damn list, personal. nigga. I never take it personal. I you don't. EXO ways. say she never take EXO, but you on my top of my list, nigga. If you need me, you call me. Should have been on this uh, years ago. That's what I was saying. That's man, I never take it if I wouldn't make them list when nobody from East Texas be on no list. I oh, mean, oh, oh list, yeah. See, see you're right. If he hadn't made it, nobody wouldn't even ever have been on the list. How many times has Sean Kyle put an East Texas artist on it? He ain't putting no East Texas niggas on there. No East Texas. But we do with Trill Talk, so we gon' we gon' we gon' bring it in. I like it, man. I like it, the fact that we do have something. He's bringing light to East Texas, period. Period. I like that. I you like see that. what I mean? No matter who is on there, he's bringing light yeah, to East Texas. Is, I like my that. thing is, I my whole that. point is, East Texas got something to say, and they're going to hear that shit. Facts. Yeah. I, Which is I true. You can, you, nobody can disagree. That's, that's true. Them big facts right Yeah. There. XO, so uh, you don't pay no attention to the list, but you sure know how to hop on songs and, and, and kill verses and and explode in in, in, in in on Balls Talk One Hundred and One. You exploded. Yeah. As a as an artist, you would hope to, but once it come out and you ain't know nothing, you can't take nothing personal, man. Right. And it's business. Sometimes like people on list because of relationships. You wow. never know why people. Bro, just said that. Yeah, Rosie, if they want to know. Yeah, facts, them industry, industry one on one. Facts. I know where I stand. Nothing to I do with them. I'm just confident. I know where I stand. Yes. I know where I stand. And where I stand, no list ain't gonna make or break me. You know, so I don't take it personal. Yes, already. And hey, what you gonna do, XO, if you don't get on the list? Come up in here and go no, hard. No, no, I gotta I show it to you. Go, keep, keep going. Keep going and they go so. Gonna make another hit single. 
Yeah, I can see you. Why, why, why you ain't roll, Why you ain't did nothing with her? We got something coming. We got Y'all got something, something coming? We had, I, I just left the studio with him. Boy, that's oh, what's wow. up. Boy, that's what's up. You got the right nigga on there. This nigga here, boy, you having a good time up here. He done came by Boss Talk. This nigga here, boy. Big Boss Talk. Shout out to man. everybody. Man. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, Trio, man, thank you for taking our call, man. We love what you doing, man. You keep putting pressure on them lists. I'm going to be looking oh, yeah. for my name on that damn list. I don't want to sure. be at the bottom. And, 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 I don't want to be at the damn bottom. And, I spent and, and, all and, and, of my microphones cost $500 damn dollars a piece. I got... Five cameras in here. Nigga, do not put me on the bottom of that list. Well, you so bells, I'm going to tell your mama on you, nigga. <laughs> you so bells, bro. I'm real. You boy. so bells. Bob love this interview. Bob talk is the truth, Say. man. No cap. <laughs> Say, man. Bob but we're, hey, hey, we gonna, we going to finish this interview up, man. We love y'all, man. XO, I'll hit you up after I'm done, okay? Hey, and I need to interview some both of y'all. XO and, and, and Ro. Okay, well, yeah, please, yeah, please, yeah. Please, he want to interview both of y'all. Most definitely, let's do so, it. So, so Trill Talk said he want to interview call you, me. both of y'all. Most definitely, let's Tell do it. Call me. Call, call you. me right now. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> He's in call up right now. I, I see your number, man. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna send a message right now. Okay, you got a number already. I'm gonna message on IG. Okay, you gonna mess around, right, That's what's up, man. Right now. Well, y'all gonna set it up, man. That's how East Texas do it, man. We in the building. Trill Talk. Man, that's what's up, man. That's what this all about. See, I'm gonna put it together. See, when I was down there, see, I can't really tell you what I used to do down there, but yeah, I brought yeah, all yeah, the niggas yeah. together. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It was bad, but I it brought them all together. Nigga shit you know what I'm talking about? Everybody got to come together when I come through, nigga, because I'm doing it better than everybody when I do it. So, same thing applies when we doing this Boss Talk 101 plat platform. We bring our people together, man. We love our people down there, man. For real. real talk, nigga. I came. This store wouldn't be here if it wasn't for East Texas. East Texas put this store up. Shout out to Apple and Dangerfield, man, for selling man, them for purses real, for me. Man. For so many years, man. Oh, yeah, oh, nigga. Man, they were my purses, hell, nigga. You, Shout out to all hey, of the, all the people that stomped down for me in Carthage, yeah. man. My little cousin, R.I.P. to Kevin, that was selling all them tennis shoes, man. We ain't gonna say where we got them from, but we got them. <laughs> Fell off the truck, you know. Uh, Fresh shout out, out yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to all my people, man. All the people down there in Marshall. All the people in Mount Pleasant, Dangerfield, Hughes Springs, nigga, or City, nigga. Shout out to all them niggas, man. Uh, Marshall, Texas, man. Yeah. K Pittsburgh, uh, 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 Kilgo, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Suffolk Springs, they in there too. Yeah. Everybody that supported ECO when he was opening up them unique fashions all over Dallas and and in the East Texas and Marshall and Atlanta, Cass County. Shout out, you know what I'm saying, right yeah. there. The Cass County Bank, you see, boy, E C E O, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right down the street, right down the street from the, his house. But that's just a little history, man, and that's yeah. what that's what it's all about, man. Us holding each other up when we fall. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, what's up for Ro Tarantino on his top three, man? We do a top three segment here. Top three artists of all time, dead, dead or alive, alive, any genre. You got to give me three artists. I don't want five. I don't want four. I don't want two. I want three artists. Top three artists of all time. This is your top from three. from Ro Tarantino. Man, that's kind of hard. Just on. Everybody do the same. Hey, man, listen, people, listen man. Like Air, it like don't that. matter. You it could be, be listening to Michael Jackson. I don't give a care who it is. It can be well, blues. It can yeah, be whatever. gospel. Gotta, it can be I gotta, anything. Say, I got to say Pimp C for one. Woo, that's you know my nigga, man. Pimp that nigga, nigga you watch this show? Nah. Man, come no on, disrespect man. To nobody. You, you know what I'm talking about? Nah, I just know the influence that he had on me. Go ahead and say why. Go and say why. Go on. Well, why? I'm going to say because of that famous quote. You know what I'm saying? What he said, if you niggas come to Gilly, you know how much money we could eat. When Boy, all the niggas were beefing. Knocking dough down. Was, you hear me? To a mess around. Yes, sir. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. Yes, sir. That was that. When he when he told them niggas that, and everybody was beefing, and Houston had the wave, and if them niggas could have came together and knew how much money they could have had and how much they could have ate, like, yeah, coming up man. as a youngster and understanding the game, I was like, I, I knew what he meant, but I know what he means so much now as I'm more mature and more well, becoming my own man. It's like, that's, 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 he that's, had a he had a lot of time. A, well, a lot of this is designed to separate us. That's right. It's all designed. Anything, you, any uh, success breeds jealousy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when you understand that, you understand how important it is to help somebody else or to be that vessel that connect things. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Connect to it. So I'm gonna say Pimp, Pimp C for C that matter. First. Number and two. Then, uh, Tupac, now that Tupac. I, now that I understand his, I didn't like his music at all when I was young. I was like, yeah. this nigga needs, I don't know what this is. Yeah, but respect him so much more now. 
Like After you wouldn't listen to it again? Well, well now that I'm more mature. Oh. I understand what his message is. Oh. I understand what he was telling us about the, the government and all this yeah. crazy stuff. And like, yeah, it sounds crazy, but it's so true and so legit. Yeah. So yeah. He, he was so enlightened and ahead of his time. That's he everybody was. says you know that. He that was so ahead definitely of his time. Yeah, yes, to know he was 25, definitely I thought he was older time. when he died. Right. But yeah. Yeah, boy, shout out to that boy that said UGK, yeah. Pimp C by number himself. Number three? Uh, number three, man. Number three. You said dead or alive? Yes. Man, I don't want to step on no toes with this, man. Man, but, say it. Oh, Let man. it out. That boy Mo Three was so hard, man. My like, co-host would love you for that because he said nah, that. Nah, I'm I'm just being honest. Musically, I now it's a lot of stuff I don't condone in that he was yeah, on. Yeah. But Musically and and singing and harmony. Cause see, right now the harmonies and the rap is in together. Mm -hmm. So you got to be able to be melodic and be a good rapper too. Wow. And ultimately, I mean, he was he was hard. Like he I was. Can respect, he was I can respect as long as you would listen to. Like I told my. I don't really listen to him though. That's the key. No cap. No disrespect. You I don't, never listen to. I him? listen to well, him. Hell, you gonna say the best if you ain't listen nah, to nah, him, bro? I didn't, I didn't say he was the best. No, his his top three. He didn't say that. It doesn't have to be the well, best. You, you didn't listen to him. Three. Nah, let me say I do listen to. I okay. have listened to some of his stuff, but you could have to hear one or two of them. Yeah, but he hard though. He hard because he can see. He can really sing too. Yeah, we we see. You know, so he can really. I was way with Mister. He can really sing, sing. That nigga hit that that, 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 that last one with Bobby Billions, boy. I saw oh it. man, yeah, he, he hard. I don't condone in none of the extras, but he hard. And and again, I might have left a lot of people out, but I just came to Mo Three because he gone right now. Yeah. And it's crazy because he gets so much shine now that he gone. And he was kind of this hard when he was here, but mm -hmm. it's like he don't. So that makes me think you are worth more dead than you are alive. Well, even even with Nipsey like, you know Hussle, it was the same way. Like yeah. I yeah. went. We went to Nipsey's shop before everybody was putting roads out there. We met his parents and his father and his family there. We went out there and rocked with him when he was living. We didn't go up there after he was dead. I met Black Sam there. That's how I built a relationship. I met Nipsey at Palms Hotel. You know, that's where I be at, man. Yeah, that's my thing. Man, they know, you, niggas big, know me from the big, Palms. Big boss. Yeah, big yeah, I be at the Palms, man. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Me and my wife been going there since 07. I think they closed that dang thing down. They been mm -hmm. pumping right back up when this everything pop over. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah that's where that's where a lot of the stuff went Man, down. I ain't even realized the three people I named was dead. Yeah, that's, but, that, but that's, mm -hmm. that's cool. That's fine. I mean, that, that's crazy. Okay. I, I, mean, I know, because okay. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? One thing I can tell you is the one that you picked number one. Yeah. UGK, man, you know what it is, man. That the one me. that you picked number two. Yeah, Tupac is hard. Tupac man. is hard. Hey, you know what? It's crazy. Mo3 remind me of Tupac. Man. Is that crazy? Now that I start like... How? How? Not, not his music. He predicted his own situation. Yeah. Okay. He talked about his own situation. Okay. He, you know, he was real flamboyant with certain things that... Oh, I, I don't know if they was. I've been hearing about this Gemini thing. A lot of people. Is Tupac a Gemini? I don't know. I don't no, know. Hell I no. Google June 16th, 1971. Oh, okay, okay. Mama gave birth to a hell raising <laughs> heavenly son. But see the doctor. Yeah. But June, June is June 16th. June 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 isn't June? June 16th. Hey, my nigga hit that like, boy. June I know 16, what he is. He ain't, he ain't a Gemini. But Cancel nah, nah, or something, he, ain't he? Yeah, no, he was. They was well, no matter what he was. I know he was born June 16th. That song was not hey, to be played with. What, what, we got to find out what that is. <laughs> June 16th. I mean, he and Gemini because Mo 3 was made. Gemini. Ah, look at this. Look at Big Tito tapping in. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about it, man. So maybe that's what. I like the way you. I like the way your your energy is. I knew it already, man. You know, sometimes you know already before you even deal with something like we dealing with. We know already, you know, that, uh, you know, the energy, right. We talked right. on the phone, man. Absolutely. Real stump down, real, real credible guy. I seen your music. I seen the wave. Like I said, I didn't tap in soon enough, but God know what he doing. I tapped in when he needed me to. Absolutely. You know, I like, I like what you're doing, man. And where you come from, man, and making the waves that you're doing. I see great things in you, man. I, I, I can tell that this thing is, your passion got to stay there, though. And I know Absolutely. it will, you know. Your passion, got your energy got to stay there. You got to, when you enter these stages in these rooms, and I ain't talking about on the stage when you're rapping. I'm talking about talking and dealing with these people, man. Right. You got to be on your A game. And I think what you said earlier about reading more, yeah. that's so important, man. So Very I'm, important. I yeah. like your advice to the kids. I yeah. like what you said. That was good. See, because so I heard this, and I, I didn't take it for, uh, I didn't take it serious, but... To to about what like a year about two three years ago, mm -hmm. they say if you if you want to keep something from a black man, put I it in the book. Mm -hmm. you know I've what I'm always saying? heard that, and I, I ain't like that, so I had to go up find out what was in these books. Yeah, and I even do audio books. I, yeah, I just oh I go find and deal with the people who have read all these books that'll be willing to give you the information. 
Because sometimes you don't have to read. You can mm-hmm. just go find out who has read this and follow them. Get mm-hmm. their message. But, yeah. be, get but, their knowledge. but today we are in such better condition, whereas information wise. Yes, like the Internet, right? Reading, right. Reading a book can be boring. People fall asleep and don't get what you're saying. You can go on YouTube and actually have somebody explain the book. Yes. So you don't have to actually go and read the book for yourself. YouTube yes. is such a, a great platform that Absolutely. you can you can find out everything. You can learn <clears throat> anything. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And there's so many teachers on there about the same topic. So if you don't resonate with one person, you just keep searching. You'll find somebody that that you can resonate with. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. You, you keep on, but you also gonna find out that uh, basically, you know, <clears throat> you keep googling stuff. They're gonna tell your damn neck by the phone. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Y'all been let them do it. You ain't lying, especially with symptoms and all yeah, that. Don't yeah, do yeah. that. Don't do that, nigga. Stop. You think you finna die tomorrow. Yeah, you know Say it, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> way, man. He too tapped in, man. Go, boy, have, you ain't lying. I have one last question okay. for you. Um, I know you said you were in two groups before when you started. Yeah. You are talented. Why you did the group thing? Why didn't you go solo from the beginning? Man. I ain't gonna give you the whole real reason. I'm gonna give you some of it though. Why? Nah, cause it, cause I don't want to expose nobody. But I'm, a, but I'm gonna say like this right You don't have to right call here. no names. Some people want to have leverage over you, so they get other artists and other people to be around you. So if you leave them, they have other, they have other options. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So ultimately, the group that was formed around me is called Quarter Gang. HQ Quarter Gang. Shout out to everybody in the group. Y'all already know how we rocking and how we moving. But um, um. I didn't go solo because I felt like I needed a. We felt like we didn't have we didn't have the um, support system. Mm-hmm. So as we picked these hand picks, these guys that we felt like was the hardest in the city and the best fit for our situation, and all of them was family at that. It was like it really helped me though because mm-hmm. I wasn't this I wasn't this musically inclined. Like mm-hmm. I was, I hadn't tapped into it yet. Let me say mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But different people around me helped me tap into it. You know what I'm saying? I tapped into the streets from my nigga Don Vo and JV. You know what I'm saying? I was in the street, but not with certain things. So I tapped into that side with them. I tapped into my harmony side for my brother Zilla. Shout out to Tormain, you know, to my, and shout out to my brother Huncho too. He, he put me, I was already on the pimp and shit though. You know what I'm saying? But he put me a little bit farther into it. Like, what they better do, what you gonna tell them to do, they gonna do what you tell them to do. And that's just like the world right now. Like the girl shake your way, they gonna do what you tell them to do. Subconsciously, they don't know it, but they gonna do it. Because most people like being told what to do. So it was just like I picked up something from everybody in the group, mm-hmm. you feel me? And that's how you get Big Tino. You know what I'm saying? Ro Tarantino, see, the Tarantino come from Quentin. Shout out to Quentin Tarantino, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't just take it from him, but I'm directing my own movement. So. That's where you see the Tarantino come in. Ro Tarantino, my name Cadero. So you get the Ro from Cadero and Tarantino for me directing my own musical movement, my own everything I'm doing. I directed like I be I directed the hard living video. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Torn Visuals. I wrote him a whole Damn. script. Torn Visuals. Shout out to you, nigga. Answer your phone. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I wrote the whole. You niggas script. on Boss Talk today. Yeah, we on Boss Talk today, and we talk and we talking Boss Talk for real today. You hear me? Yeah, man. See, so. But that's the reason why I asked that question because a lot of people um, who maybe wanted to start but don't have the confidence to go on their own, so they prefer to start in a group. Yeah. To build, you know, build themselves up. Well, hell, you but talking about I that new edition story? No, but, no, no, no. But then I see you go from one group to the next. You know, normally people normally just leave what? from that one group and go solo. Well, I was solo, so it was a, it was a it was a nice time lapse within that when I when I like I said the first group that I went was in the rap group I'm still with them them still my family Mm -hmm. like them other people they still my family too but we all took different we we don't really hang out as much no more I hang with everybody in that first group still right to today my sister my brother Scram my brother D Money my brother Courtney you know say I still hang with Dunvo sometimes so uh Everybody, a uh, little Baki, he in jail. Little Jer- like everybody that was in that first group, we still see each other at least once a week. Let me ask you. You know a what I'm saying? If you and get, like I said, it's tied on my own, so I'm always be a Pleasantville player. I don't you know, know how much money you have, but just uh, hypothetically, you get a million dollars. What What are you gonna do? I'm gonna invest before I do anything. Yeah. I ain't gonna splurge, then I ain't gonna buy my mama no. House. Well, I'm buy my mama house because I ain't, that house ain't that much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm would you invest in? Real estate, truck driving. Uh, I'm gonna give. I'm also like I don't know. I always said my first million that I was gonna put a youth center back in my city, but I understand now. I ain't gonna. I can't go broke. You know, I can't go put my whole first million back into the city. Well, that's what. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna invest it. I'm gonna invest like half of it, half a million. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get some more. Poll. I don't want to tell everybody my ideals, but let people me just, got some money. Let me be real with you. If you want it, then you need to write it out and act like you're going to get it. Oh, I already did that. Okay. I just don't be. I, another thing I learned, people steal your ideas. That's mm-hmm. right. Some people got the money already, and they'll want to know where your mindset at with it. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? What, what you going to do with that? I'm like, I don't know what to do. But yeah. for the most part, I have a very you thorough. write the vision and make it plain. Yes, yeah, so I got I got a business partner, too, who I already got helped me with half of the vision. You know what I'm talking about? And. To be honest, like I said, it's it's so many things that you can invest in. I'm investing into some crypto. Like, man, it's just I wouldn't I wouldn't splurge. I'm not going to spend it all on chains and cars. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. Now I might do that after I'm 10 million up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? 10, 20 million up. Okay. But I've been gonna help so many people that I have a jeweler making me jewelry for free. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. Like I like um, it. I yeah, like it. I just asked you the question just to oh, understand where you yeah. was heading with it Almost on definitely. all sides, man. Right. Like I said, you're very, very, very energetic. Uh, I believe your heart is in the right place, mm-hmm. and that's the most important thing. Thanks, I appreciate it. Um, like I said, you 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 got a you got a whole brand going here. You know, you on TikTok? Yeah. You yes, on? Uh, yes, sir. No, else? but he said his social media presence is not that hard right now. Why? Well, you know, a lot of people. <clears throat> well, it's, it's it's really hard. I was being funny since I got excluded from not having. No, no, no. You got to so you got to so follow. Trust me. Let me say oh, something okay, else about that okay. list while we talk about it. Sometimes you do know those lists is to create controversy, right? Correct. Yeah. We talking about him right now, right? Yeah. yeah. He's the talk of this show in a sense. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm a businessman. Yeah. I'm not a I'm not a rapper. Yeah. I'm yeah. an artist who know the business. Yeah. I don't know everything. I know enough to get me on this show. I ain't to on no damn marketing. list. He finna come out with a list and it's gonna be controversial. You gonna be on there, trust me. If you, ain't <laughs> on. you know what? If that nigga don't put me on the list, nigga, I am the list, nigga. You, you know what I'm talking about? Controversy. Facts. That's what I'm I say. I, I am the list. Cause look, controversy sales, man. And yeah. that's another reason why I probably didn't make no list. Cause I ain't talking about killing niggas. I ain't talking about shit that people want you to talk about. I'm talking about my life. It might not be interesting to you, but it's going to be interesting to the world once they hear it. I make worldly music. I don't make music for my partner. I don't make music for my my city. I don't make music for my team. I make worldly music. I make music that can get people through the day. I make music that people can relate to. I make music that if you're going through something, you might be like, damn, I I try to make music to get you to the day. I also talk about what I'm actually doing. I don't talk about no fiber gas. I'm not finna say things that I'm not doing I just don't believe in that that's why my name is Mr. Real over everything Cadero R-O-E everybody don't stand for that so you can make like I I got a gun and all that but I ain't toting the gleezy looking for ops I don't have no ops <laughs> you don't have no ops I don't have no ops I sure am glad you don't cause you can't be up here around me with your ops <laughs> you know, your damn ops I don't want nobody no, you young niggas yeah, got yeah, this yeah, I don't have no y'all ops, got man. them new I y'all got, got some gotta, secret ops though you know what I'm saying some secret ops people that sit around and you know what I'm saying and, 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 and try to um, talk about see I'm covered though in the so book. I ain't gonna even give them no credit oh, I got, really? I'm covered in the blood so anything you want to do to me God uh-huh. gonna make a way where somebody come intervene, talk to you, or you God get turn it to you God get God yourself it. heard. You gonna you can't you ain't gonna be able to see me. Only if, if you come in with good, God turn it to good. God, God gonna it. turn it to good. Like every time, you know, I, I always I always like to to try to bless everybody that that's really talented to come through here. You know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Um, you gonna have to come back to town, and we gonna have to really, you know, what I'm saying, hang out. You know, I, no, y'all either let big boss. Boss Talk, come on that uh, uh, video shoot. Yeah, I, I love getting it. So I would like to invite you know Big Boss Talk to my, album, Talk to my album, album release, man, next yeah, where, on the where, May 29th. It's going to be at the Cajun Event Center. It's going to be crazy. Where at? Where at? Uh, it's in a little town called Dangerfield. I mean, I'm sure, man, stop <laughs> playing with me. You don't make me get. That you don't make me get. You don't make me get. I was in back in Atlanta, man. You was over there the other day. Nigga, you don't make me think I was back in Atlanta, man. I'm trying to. You niggas from Tennessee or something over there the other day. One of them big money niggas over there. Yeah. Who was that over there the other day doing a concert? Oh, uh. That big money nigga was over there. Who are you talking about, Pops? I think you talking about somebody with a trail ride. Yeah, Boo. Boo. Boosie. No, it wasn't. It was like it was. It was one of them. You had to look. Who that know. took a picture with somebody the other day? They was on my Instagram stunting with the nigga too. From from occasions. The nigga was in Douglas Douglasville. That's oh, yeah, where yeah, he yeah, was yeah, at. Yeah, 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 he wasn't in Dangerfield. He yeah, was in yeah. Douglasville. I think I know what you're talking about. It was a trail ride. Yeah, it was, it, like it was one of them rappers down there performing. They didn't put that money up for that boy. Put get that yeah. boy that bag. Yeah, for sure. They're, they how's them trail rides, man? I don't the, go to them. I've never I, been to one in my life. Me neither. 
Really? Nah, I don't do man. That's too open, too much open field and drinks are unlimited. That's too much, too many drinks and all oh, that's gonna be create problems, man. And people, like, some people be telling me, "Oh no, it's a grown folks thing." I'm like, I hear that a lot of young people be going and yes. acting a fool. Yes. And some of them grown folks be acting a fool. Anybody gonna act a fool if you consume too much alcohol? Too much alcohol. And you stay there too long no with what? no security. Yeah. Like you might have security, but if you have a trail ride, if I throw a trail ride. I'm going to have police all around that They can say, there's going to be police on the outside when you come in. There's going to be police on the inside when you come in. And it's going to be gated. And it's going to be, they're going to get strictly searched. Because I don't know if they get searched or not. I don't really know how they work. But mm -hmm. for the most part, nah, I don't, like, I just be, I just be trying to stay out the way, man. Because I got, because I feel like what God got for me, you know, everybody can't, everybody can't be a part of that. So if I understand that, then I need to understand, I need to move different. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to East Texas, man. Shout out to, Shout out to HD. Heat HD. Heat HD. You know what's going on. Tell me what it is, big baby. Roll up, let's chill, big baby. Try, trying to get a meal, big baby. So you can catch me in the field, big baby. Roll up, let's chill, 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 big baby